Hi everyone, this is Erica from Confessions of a Homeschooler and today I wanted to share a new lap book I created for you. It goes along with my classic literature units and this one is for 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. In this one we're using the classic starts version since 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea is a little bit more of an advanced book but it's still a great way to introduce your kids to some of the classic literature out there at a younger age and then they can get excited about creating um, or in reading a chapter book all by themselves. So. Here's the book, just so you can kind of see what I'm referring to. And then here is our lap book. And as you can see, there's just a fun picture for them to color um, for their cover. And this is just a tri-fold lap book. And I'll link instructions on how to create this lap book in the um, comment section below for you. But it's basically just one file folder and then one additional piece that is taped up here along the top with just some shipping tape. And that just gives you an extra flap for some of the for some of the books. So if you want to see this book in a little bit more detail, just stick around and we'll be right back. All right, and just like my other literature units, this one comes with an activity guide or a teacher's manual. It tells you um, some of the materials you'll need, with, which basically is just the book and then my literature unit, um, what to do to prepare for it, something to do prior to reading, um, a timeline, because as they progress through the story, they're going to be creating a, basically a storyboard. Um, just drawing little pictures as, as they progress through. And then for this particular one, since, um, since the professor is going on a voyage, there's actually a voyage map so that they're going to tra trace the, um, the voyage of the Nautilus and Captain Nemo. Then down here, and there's more pages to go with this, but it basically just tells you read chapter one, prepare your lap book, complete this mini book, and then I also have the answers to the question for that mini book just so that you um, can help them through it and make sure they're coming up with correct answers even if you haven't read the book yourself. And then each time it makes mention of where they are, um, I put this voyage map on here and for example in chapter one it mentions they're setting sail from the United States coast somewhere near the Atlantic Ocean. So some of their Locations are a little bit vague, but you can at least get a general idea of where um, they're traveling throughout the story. So each chapter is outlined like that with questions and answers for you and for your um, child to answer as they go through the lap book. So here's the basic lap book, and it's just your kind of standard trifold lap book. As you can see, I just took a manila file folder and then flattened it out and then folded each side in so they meet in the center. Um, it comes with a cover for the lap book that your kids can color. And then on the inside, there are 17 mini books. They correspond one with each chapter, and each chapter has some comprehension questions that go with the mini book. So your student will be um, just cutting out, coloring a mini book, and then inside answering the comprehension questions. And so here's kind of what how we organized ours. Um, and then um, the the book takes place in the year 1866. There's some special findings that happened that year, so they'll write that in, that in there. Um, here's the name of the captain and the ship, which is Captain Nemo and the Nautilus. Um, here's some information about the guys who are going on the voyage. To look for Captain Nemo and the Nautilus, they think he might be some strange new animal. And then each one is just kind of what happens um, you know, what is a league? What happens while they're on some of their expeditions? They go on a night walk. They go to the South Pole. They get stranded in between some icebergs. Um, Captain Nemo is finding gold and passing it out to some of the less privileged countries. In one chapter, he finds a bag of pearls and he ends up giving it to a man. He saves his life and gives it to a man at the bottom of the ocean that they find. Um, they go through a volcano. They um, come up with a whale. Um, they... When they lose one of their crew members and bury him in what's called a safe place and so your child will answer questions about what that place is and why they call it that. And then of course there's a vocabulary list with each one that just kind of talks about some of the terms that they use and um, what they mean. And then at the very end the men escape from Captain Nemo and so in here they're going to write how they escaped and, and what they think happened to Captain Nemo and the Nautilus. So. Um, as you can see, it's kind of a fun way to just read through a classic literature unit, but at the same time make sure that your child is comprehending the questions that go along with it, that they understand what they're reading. And then the teacher's manual, um, each one comes with a teacher's manual, which I kind of already showed you, but the teacher's manual is to help you so that you don't have to read the book. You can help them once they fill out their questions. If they have any questions, you can you know help them answer the questions that are in their lap book, um, or you can just double check to make sure that what they're answering is basically what they should be answering so they're not just making up answers. Um, 
And so each one tells you exactly what the questions are inside their mini book and what the answers are. So as the teacher, you can, it makes it really easy for you. And then also along with all of them come a few report sheets and there'll be instructions on which chapter on which to do these, but they ask questions about predicting where the story takes place, when it takes place and what it's about. And this one is basically before you read it. And they're going to do that just based on the cover um, to see if you can judge a book by its cover. Another report that's included is basically a timeline, and this is just a storyboard, so as they go, they'll just draw pictures of some of the major events in the story, and you can copy and make as many sheets of this as they need for each unit. Um, it's not, there's nothing specific to that. For this one, they're actually going to chart um, a map of the voyages of the submarine, so they, you can kind of get a clue, because there, there are real places in this story, and you can kind of get a, a hint at where they traveled and, and just, you know, where they were all over through the world as they went on their voyage. There's another sheet that where they're going to talk about the protagonist, the antagonist, what the main problem of the story is, and what the solution of the, or, or the outcome of the story is, and then here's just a little spot for them to do an illustration and then there's always a final book report for each one and they're going to list the author, the illustrator, a summary of it and then kind of their report and then again there's another spot for them to do a picture. Maybe they can design their own cover or, or whatever they want to do for that. And then at the end, most of my units also have a movie version, and we like to watch the movie after we do the books. And so um, this one just kind of talks about the book versus the movie and some similarities between them, some differences between them. Um, I like to ask this question, did the movie characters match the ones in your own imagination? Because when you read a book, you put together the character in your, in your imagination, and then a lot of times when you see the movie, they don't really go with what you were thinking, or sometimes they do. Um, and then just a question of which version did you like better and why. So, you know, did you prefer the book? Because a lot of times books can go into more detail. Some people prefer movies because that's just kind of their thing and, you know, they, they're more visual. So, and then also an image from your favorite part of either the book or the movie. And then, um, they all come with this final page on them, and this is a case you don't want to do the mini book, and you'd like to just put these sheets into a notebook if you prefer. Um, so you could just put this on the front of your notebook. And so that's it. Um, the lap books are um, available individually or as a bundle package, and you can get them all off my website at www.confessionsofahomeschooler.com. And as always, if you have any questions, you're welcome to email me. Um, and I'll do my best to get back with you, or if you have any book suggestions that you'd like me to create another one for. But this one was 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, and it's, again, the classic start version. And so I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoy the lap book.